I would like now to say a few words about today's teaching. Uh, the first thing Jesus said to, to, the, to the man sick of, uh, he was a paralytic, those words were, were Son, your sins are forgiven you. Now, this man had been so ill of body that he could not walk. His friends had brought him to the Lord that he might be healed. He himself apparently sought only bodily health and restoration. He didn't ask for his forgiveness, but Jesus Christ saw the belief, faith, their belief of those people who brought him. Otherwise, they wouldn't do that hard job. They took him to the roof and they tried to open the roof. По-русски скажу, они взяли его на крышу, а на ближнем востоке, знаете, какие крыши были? Раскопали крышу, написано в Евангелии, то есть все глиняное было, там и сейчас так строят. Because they believed. He himself, uh, uh, but Christ seeing that he had a spiritual sickness, as well as a bodily one healed his spirit first. He forgave them, he forgave the man his sins and washed them away. Only after that he was able to go home, to walk. We are now, dear brothers and sisters, in the time of the ecclesiastical year, Zirconi God, ecclesiastical year, in which the church calls us to repentance. <clears throat> when we go to doctor, he tells us that a person ought to have a physical examination every year. Uh, the church tells us we ought to have spiritual examination regularly. It's the same. We have to look after our, our spirit as well. Many is a being of body and spirit. When man become, becomes ill, it is the whole person that is ill, not the body only. Then uh, there is a close tie between the health of the body and the health of the soul and vice versa in our body. How then can we prepare for a sincere repentance? So church gives us few recommendations. It is necessary to pray and prepare for examinations of conscience. That's what we do. We come, we, at home, first of all, we think about our sins. It would be good to put down them and uh, come and read in front of the priest. Good at home to read those special prayers before Holy Communion. Number two, it is necessary to be truly sorry for our sins. То есть искренне как бы раскаяться, попросить прощения за свои грехи. Then we may say the appropriate prayer and come before the priest with humility for confession. Dear brothers and sisters, we hear many voices 
with advice during the Great Lent. Some people tell us to fast, others to abstain. <coughs> Still others advise us to pray more, to attend church more, which is normal. We should do that. Another uh, will say uh, we ought to give up certain things during Lent. People do those things too. All these are praiseworthy, they said, but there is but. But if land is to be land, there is one thing we must do before all else, that is to repent, to turn from self and sin to God, like that prodigal son. If we do that, so we do try to do it harder, more. Repentance means to be so sorry for our sins that we do something, that we do something about it. We go and have them forgiven and start afresh as a newborn child of God. Thank you very much. Bakhteria Zanimani. May the Lord God be with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.